Hello and welcome to The Sound Test Room. My name is Jacob Hack, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode about FM synthesis. There are many ways of explaining stuff, but I want anyone to understand this, especially you who might be beginners into this. FM synthesis, frequency modulation synthesis, is basically what it says. You're using one frequency to modulate another frequency. I'm just gonna do this in a way that you can see what happens. As you can see, I've got an oscilloscope here and that is very very nice it cost this much and you can connect a Behringer U control UCA 202 to your iPad and then run audio signals into it and you have an oscilloscope so what I've got here is FM4 by Primal Audio and why am I using this one because it's so simple to show you what happens when you're using it the layout of the thing is so easy to understand what I've done right now is I have an initialized patch and I'll play one note for you I'll go down an octave and press a note and you can see the waveform right there and as you can see it's just a clean uh, sinus wave um, and it jumps a bit in a picture when it's sampling the waveform but you can see the waveform it's just a sinus waveform so I've only got one oscillator FM operator whatever you want to call it I've just got one sound source on right now running one frequency as you can see here you have a signal chain if you look at these arrows you can change the routing of these signals and the way they interact with each other and right now I'm running a signal chain where each FM operator is getting affected by the one above so you can see the arrow pointing down here so if I turn this one on the frequency from this FM operator is gonna affect this one so turn it on I'm gonna turn up the oscillator 2 right now it's gonna start affecting oscillator 1 So what we're basically doing, we're distorting this frequency of this FM operator with the second FM operator. Now it starts getting interesting when you turn on more FM operators and start distorting signals down. When I now turn on number three, I'm going to start distorting number two, who is also already distorting number one. So it's a double effect. Very interesting, right? Let's turn on number four. This one is going to affect this one who is affecting this one that is affecting this one. Now, let's say we change the routing. So what's happening now is number four is getting bypassed and not affecting number three. So number three and four will affect number two in parallel, which will then affect number one. And we get a completely different waveform. Waveform, that's one thing, because you actually have different kinds of waveform here. So let's have a look at them. Switch back the routing to the first one, turn all these off. I'm gonna have FM operator one on. Let's have a look at these waveforms. You can already see the way they look, but with an oscilloscope, we can really see what the audio looks like. So let's turn this on. Looks pretty cool, right? So what happens now if we turn on this one and start affecting this waveform type and this frequency with the frequency of this FM operator? Now let's change the waveform up here to something completely different. More gritty. FM synthesis is perfect for making really gritty sounds because of the distortion. It's, it's built into FM synthesis. Frequency modulation does that. You distort one frequency with another within the audio spectra. That's why I love using it for gritty sounds. Actually understanding the way that the routing works, when you understand that, then you're closer to making the sounds you want to make. One thing affects the other. If you turn on number three and then you turn off number two, you will only hear oscillator one because of the routing. Nothing happens now. And that's because we've broken the signal chain and number two is not on because the routing goes from four, three, two to one. So if we turn on this and drive this up, 
we can hear the signal being distorted. And if we turn it off, no distortion. Let's say we change the routing to this instead. Now, if we turn on four, you can see that signal number four is distorting itself and then going down to number one. Now you understand frequency modulation routing and why that's important. This is how FM synthesis works. I suggest you experiment a lot with this. FM4 by Primal Audio is one of the best, most fun FM synthesizers out there. I can also recommend TF7 by Tenacious Frog. Pierre Lim has done an excellent job with this. And if you want a FM synthesizer to make really nice bells with, this is one of the best to do that. FM4 can do that also, but this one, I like using this when I make bell sounds and it's using a similar way of operating the way you route things what kind of waveforms you use one frequency with another I'm gonna put all of the app links to all of the apps I've mentioned down in the description so you can go check them out for yourself if you want them if you need them as usual Doug Woods Colin Sweeney and me Jakob Hackett to soundtestroom.com wishes you a very productive week now go finger your surfaces and have lots of fun doing it